Alright everybody, it's Bert from SoftTubes here with another trailer reaction and today it's the final trailer for Joker. We're doing that pretty soon, I don't remember when though. Uh, let's jump on in and see what it's like. we'll be meeting you don't listen to you you just ask the same questions every week how's your job are you having any negative thoughts all i have are negative thoughts and finally in a world where everyone thinks they can do my job check out this guy when I was a little boy and told people I was going to be a comedian, everyone laughed at me. Well, no one's laughing now. You can say that again, pal. It's so awful, isn't it? For my whole life, I didn't know if I even really existed, but I do. And people are starting to notice. You think this is funny? <laughs> is this a joke to you? <laughs> Murray, one small thing. Yeah. When you bring me out, can you introduce me as Joker? I'd been avoiding this trailer pretty heavily all day because it kept popping up in my Facebook feed while I was at work. I noticed it this morning and by the time I, I... I keep wanting, if I have enough time in the morning, I'll try and record a video before I go to work um, if some really big has come out. But unfortunately, most of the time it doesn't happen and today was one of those cases where I just did notice it until it was way too late. Um, here's the thing. So, I need to. Start, I, I'm pretty sure I talked about this because I did the, the teaser. I think it was just a teaser. I don't think it, I don't remember if it was the official trailer or not. Because uh, this is the final trailer, so I didn't put out a lot. So they're not doing an amazing amount of um, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, promotion on this film so far, which probably makes sense. That uh, sent. God, my brain is not working. Probably makes sense, uh, given that it's not a big budget superhero kind of thing. It is more of a character examination from the look of it. Um, so it, it kind of makes sense then. But my thing is, I'm I'm going to say I'm not a big fan of the Joker. Don't li don't really like the Joker at all. Part of the reason I don't like the Joker is because I think he's a character that only works when you have back essentially because the problem at least the way he's typically written this isn't to say you can't do something different but he he's a character that really only works when you have batman because he's built so into that mythos and his um his mentality is based upon being opposite to batman uh pretty heavily like like the one thing like you can, like, if you ask people about Joker, they'll typically mention Batman, or if you ask, like, what kind of a person is he, they'll say something like chaotic. Chaotic is not a personality type. Chaotic is random nonsense, most of the time, especially, like, a good, really, really good writer can write chaotic well, but it's typically not chaotic, chaotic at all. Um, chaotic is really difficult, because chaotic means they'll do anything, and that's literally anything at any moment. 
So the Joker typically has never actually been chaotic. He's been, like, when they talk about, like, he's a force of chaos, he's actually more of a force of entropy because he breaks things. Chaos isn't things breaking. Chaos is random occurrence. So he actually isn't really much of a thing of chaos, but that's how a lot of people think of him. To make him truly chaotic, he would just randomly make out with people or give them money or kill them or friggin' just stab them in the foot or buy them a puppy. Like, this, so, like, chaos is just, it doesn't work. And so, like, Dark Knight found a nice way of doing it. They kept having him portray himself as chaos, and that maybe he believed himself to be chaotic. But if you actually watch his actions throughout the film, he's meticulously planned. Perfectly planned. Everything was planned. I don't necessarily agree with some of the plans that actually make sense, uh, but, that, but he did plan out all of his actions. Uh, and that does play into the mythos of him in those films. Or at least that film. They don't really get into him and the others aside from a hint and Batman Begins. But overall he's kind of a, a character that only really works when you have Batman because his chaos is the random mayhem he causes. Like just blowing up stuff and all that kind of stuff. Like the entropic kind of chaos that a lot of people tend to think of against Batman's order. Even though Batman does break rules to make order, his thing is about maintaining an order. So that's basically where the Joker kind of normally sits. This is interesting to do this, and that's why I don't like him very much as a character. Um, also, he gets kind of overdone. He's done in everything. Every time there's been a Batman game, Joker's been involved somehow, and uh, it's just it becomes a bit much. But here, they're trying to do a whole thing about Joker. And I, I think I have a... I saw a lot of people that were super in this movie. I don't necessarily think this is going to be a bad movie. Uh, I have some issues. Like, Joaquin Phoenix is a terrific actor. But I forget the name of the director. But it's the director of, like, Hangover and... Uh, crap. Um, Road Trip and stuff. Which I might enjoy those films. I don't think they're particularly amazing films. Or at least not in a way that I would necessarily go like, Oh, that's the guy to do this kind of film. But obviously the, he was passionate enough to do this because this is kind of an indie film. I don't know whether anyone was like anyone on Warner Brothers or DC was like, we need to make this film. More as it seems like he probably approached them and said, I can do this kind of film where I want to. Will you let me? Uh, so I, I think there's something there, but it's still it doesn't necessarily make me like super confident. Uh, competent, confident. I know a lot of people that are, but I'm just kind of like, eh. But a lot of that is also coming from my I don't like Joker standpoint where... where I'm looking at this, and I'm going, God, do I wish this movie didn't have the Joker or DC attached to it. And not because I think those things are necessary. Like, like, I don't think DC, everything they do is bad. I love, like, Shazam and stuff. Like, I get accused of being a Marvel fanboy a lot. But there are DC things I like. Um, I don't necessarily think, like, it's that. Or that even though I dislike Joker, I don't think... That being a Joker film makes it bad inherently, as much as I may, it may make me more cautious of a film like that. My issue here is actually that this looks like it could be a really, really good film, just about a guy who has a mental break in society and watching him go through that. Well, the kind of films we used to get a lot of in things like Jacob's Ladder and stuff like that. Like it could be a really surreal kind of thing. But now it has all this Joker baggage. And that can go two ways. They can try to go heavy-handed with the Joker stuff. Uh, well, it can go three ways. They can find a perfect balance. It's going to be hard. But they can do it. But odds are, typically the way these things go, it's either going to be heavy-handed. Maybe not enough that it affects the film, but heavy-handed. The other way, which is the way I'm kind of feeling and has me more worried, I would actually be more okay if they heavy-handed the Joker stuff is that they underdo it. Because the problem with underdoing it is that if you underdo it too much, why was this a Joker film? And that's kind of my feeling watching this. I don't understand why this is a Joker film. Because nothing here is actually going like, oh yeah, that's the Joker. 
oh yeah, that's totally the Joker. It's Batman's Joker. It's Joker of DC. Like, none of that's there, aside from he wears clown makeup, which isn't exactly the Joker makeup anyway. And he says, call me Joker. Which is kind of a weird bit to have in... I don't know, like, it's in the trailer just to go like, oh, he does get called Joker in the film. And, I mean, it's nice that he decides to call himself that. Typically, the way films do it is they have someone else call them the name, whether it be the hero or the villain. But here it just feels like I don't know why this is a Joker film at the moment. I don't know why this had to be it and this couldn't just been a Warner Brothers. I mean, it will help with marketing, absolutely. I think that's part of the reason they're going lax is they, they're pretty confident that for what they've spent... The simple fact that it's a Joker film it's connected to DC, they'll get enough people um, to make back their money. They're not, they don't, don't want to spend too much more on marketing because they'll hit that point where they're spending more than they're ever going to return, essentially. Because there's only so many people that are going to go see this kind of film. But it just, it, I don't know. I want to like this. I feel like this was exactly my reaction to the, the previous thing, whether it was a teaser or a trailer, I can't remember. Um, but I had that same reaction of, I want to like this. I really, really do. And my brain is in constant conflict over that fact. I watch this and I go, I want to like this. And I really, I really just want to go like, oh, that's something I want to watch. But it's part of my brain that just goes, I don't know. I just don't know. Something's not right here. Something doesn't feel great. Uh, and that may, that may not be the film's fault. It may be entirely my brain's fault. That I'm just not quite getting there. That I just can't get over that hurdle to be like, yeah, I want to go see this film. I don't, I'm probably go I'm going to see this film when it comes out. I didn't fucking pay attention to when it comes out, but I'm going to see it. But I just don't have anything in me that goes like, I want to see this. It reminds me of like when Venom got shown. I was like, no, I'm going to see it. But I don't really necessarily want to see it. It's more of a just like, okay, I'll see it to see if it's actually any good. And that case, it wasn't. I don't think this is going to be anywhere near as bad as joke. Uh, fuck. Venom. I think this will be a... I, I do believe this will probably be, at the very least, a okay film. I don't think this will be a bad film at all. I think it'll be a very passable film. I, I ha My main things where I think there's going to be issues... I think there's going to be... I mean, the obvious stuff of like whether or not it's worth being Joker film or not. But I think there's going to be some issues in pacing and plotting... Uh, the two things that mainly come to mind. Uh, I'm not 100% sure that the plot is going to make... I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to make sense, but I don't think it's going to necessarily work the entire way through. I, I, and a lot of that is still pacing, where I don't know if this film's going to pace very well. It... I actually... Just um, saying that reminded me... I don't know what it was about saying it. It reminded me... But people I know who would like this kind of film, who actually, when, when I first spoke to them, like people who aren't super up on movie news and superheroes and stuff, but I mentioned to them the idea of like, oh, they're doing a Joker film. And they were like, oh, that sounds really cool. Like I knew people that were like super into the idea of a Joker film. And uh, and I explained like, oh, yeah, there's a few different versions of the Joker. It's probably not, it's not going to be anything like Dark Knight or whatever. And they're like, no, no, it's cool. Like, I just want, like, that sounds really cool if they do it, like, R-rated. And it's like, oh, it is going to be R-rated. And I'm like, yeah, that sounds really cool. And then they saw the first, like, teaser trailer thing. And they went, oh, I, I don't know what this is. And I went, yeah, yeah, I get that. And because of all the reactions I saw to this trailer, I was kind of like, oh, okay, this is really going to, like, build it up. This kind of felt like that other trailer. I don't think this trailer is going to sell the people who are already uncertain from the first trailer. This didn't do anything differently. The only thing was that we got more of like, ah, call me Joker. Like, that was kind of it. We got less of his relationship with his mum and more with of his relationship with other people. That was pretty much the only shift between that trailer and this trailer. They could have basically been the same trailer as far as I'm aware. Like, the timing is probably different. But there's nothing really here that we didn't get already get. I didn't learn anything, essentially. I know there's a gang of Jokers. I already kind of got that from the first one. 
they gave me a little bit more of that, but I kind of got that from the first one. It was like a rebellion rising. Yeah, kind of got that from the first one. Like, this didn't give me anything else, and that's actually now, I think, part of the reason I don't think I'm excited for this film yet. My brain sort of clicked, and I'm just like, I don't think, I, I, like, I don't think I'm excited because this trailer didn't give me anything. Or at least anything new. It didn't give me anything more. Because the previous trailer hadn't sold me entirely yet, this trailer hasn't helped. Because I'm just sitting there going like, cool. It's what I've already seen. I have it didn't give me anything. And that sucks. This trailer should have been the one to really give me something to go like, okay, cool. Like, either way, okay, cool, I'm going to spend my money or, you know what, I'm going to pass. But instead it's giving me the same thing, so I'm just like, I feel the same way. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I don't know what it wants me to feel, almost. Because I've just got the same information. You get, you expanded on some a little bit, but not, you didn't really expand on it, aside from, oh yeah, all those things you may not have been 100% about, you're like 90%, here's the other 10%. And I was like, cool, I pretty much figured that though. That 90% was still like, eh, I pretty much figured this is how it's going to be. And I was just like, yeah, it is that. And I'm like, there was not a twist there, there's nothing exciting about any of that, it's just, oh, I got that extra 10%. And that bugs me. That really, really bugs me. I, ah. Uh, I, I, I feel more crappy now. I wish I hadn't figured that out almost. Because, I mean, it's good because now I know what it was that wasn't working, but now I want to know why they didn't. Because there's so much here that is exactly the same that I don't think I could piece together the flow of the film necessarily i feel like there's a few things that are in spots that when you watch it you go like oh, i reckon that's the end and it turns out it's actually earlier but i could probably get a pretty good idea of how many scenes are in the film how many time like i have a good feeling that a lot of the early part of the film involves a lot of almost repetitive kind of stuff i feel like we're going to be going to the apartment with his mom a lot on repeated occasions uh, and then that will fade away as we go later on, whether she dies or something happens there is an unknown matter. I feel like that could be what it is, though. That's his tipping point, is his mum dies. Uh, but at the very least, it will go beyond that as it becomes the bigger city scope. And part of me almost feels like we're going to end up with a small moment again because of that, that will go back to if his mum isn't dead, him and his mum, or if she's dead and he dies at the end, which seems very, very likely... It will be a shot of just them together again. Whether it's heaven or it's just a me like a flashback of them in the past. Ooh, we won't know. But I kind of get the feeling that might happen. And that's not to say that I'm guaranteeing that. Because I am probably way off the mark. Because I'm, I'm, I'm one of those people that I, I don't necessarily... Even when I... Pre typically when I like predict a movie... I can't really verbalize it very well. I can just... My brain goes, Ooh. But then it's like... If I, someone asks me, I'd be like, This, maybe? My brain's still like, No, this way. This way. And then when I see it, I'm like, ah, I knew it. But I couldn't verbalize it at all. Um, it makes it hard to prove. Um, but, yeah. I, mm, I don't know. After everyone... I don't, this kind of feels a little bit... This, a little bit like Inception to me, like the actual film, where it got so hyped by people before I finally saw it that when I did finally see it, and I saw it at home on a TV, so it also ruined it a little bit, but all the hype didn't live up because people were like, oh, it's the most original film. You'll never, you've never seen anything like this before. It's so new. And I watched it and went, oh, I've seen this in like a thousand different things. Not all in one film, yeah, but I've seen all of these ideas elsewhere and putting them all in a new film doesn't make it entirely original more than any other film has ever done that before so i was really let down because there was all this hype and then i finally saw it and went oh okay and the visuals which would have been amazing in a the cinema they didn't help boost up whatever was there because i was just like yeah it's on tiny screen just looks all right i guess so I, that really let me down. This is kind of doing the same where, because I was seeing people being like, Joker, send in the clowns, this is going to be awesome. And then I saw it and I was like, I got the same crap. This is not anything. 
Oh, I just... Mm. I don't know, maybe I need to watch it some more times and actually think about it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to kind of stew on this one, I think, to fully get my thoughts. But at the moment, that's just where I'm at. I just, I can't... I can't get past the fact that I just... I didn't get anything. Doesn't... Ah, oh, I just can't. Anyway, guys, I'm just going to be on that loop for a while now, so, um... Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you guys um, obviously think in the comments below. Uh, I, I, if you really did like this trailer, especially if you're someone who wasn't fully sold in the first trailer, but this one did, let me know. Uh, and let me know why. Because maybe it's something I'm just missing. And my brain is just refusing to take in. Um, I'd like to know, um, and if you, I mean, it'd also be nice if people are kind of feeling the same way as I am, let me know. Um, I, I do have a slight fear that this is going to be a, even if it's a good film, it might be a boring film, uh, which is always a problem. Um, but yeah, just let me know what you guys think. Um, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. Um, and if you're new to the channel, you like reactions. Uh, I promise that most of them are not me just being frustrated at the trailer. Sometimes they are. There's been a few of these. Um, but yeah, it, it, you, I get all sorts of different reactions. But if you like that, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And there's a bell if you want to know when new reaction stuff go up. And also gameplays and stuff. There's still a bunch of gameplays I've got to edit. It's been a while and I'm sorry guys if any of you actually liked watching that stuff. Uh, it's... Some, one of them is just a pain in the ass to edit because of technical issues. Um, the other one, it just kind of got away from me. Now that I, I am running a novel, which takes up time, and I have work, and weekends get busy and stuff. So, uh, I'm trying to get through all that. This weekend, I might be able to get some stuff out. We'll see. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Ship. That was C3PO.